people dream of doing something with our lives and however far-fetched sometimes just sometimes those aspirations come true for jessica cox the dream of playing the piano driving a car or even flying a plane seemed an impossible one as a child well she was born with no arms but with a bit of determination and flexibility she's proving the sky's the limit we caught up with her in arizona my name is Jessica Cox and I live in Tucson, Arizona. I'm a motivational speaker. I've traveled to 17 different countries. My situation of being born without arms requires a lot of creativity. The kids around me climbing up the monkey bars or, or climbing up the slide and for me I felt somewhat frustrated because I was prevented from that. I wanted to run up and climb up that slide just like all the other kids. At times I would vision flying over the playground and being superwoman. I realized um, that I needed to adapt to the way everyone else did things. And it wasn't about catering to my needs or my special situation, but it was more about me adapting and being creative and coming up with ways of using my feet or doing using other methods to become independent. Put my pants onto the hook, then I just step into the pants like this, and I wiggle my way into my pants. I've heard the saying a number of times that, you know, life is 10% what happens to you, 90% of how you respond to it. So that's why I fell in love with psychology. Psychology fascinated me in that sense that it really did credit a lot to how we thought. It was a three-year process to become a pilot. I had to find a specific airplane and it has two less controls than most standard airplanes and so therefore I can actually keep my right foot on the yoke, my left foot on the throttle. The most incredible, most empowering experience I've ever had. It's that feeling of being free, of being, you know, in the sky and and just that incredible feeling of being up there. What I enjoy is, is not really knowing where I'm going to be next. In the next four months, I'm going to be in four different countries. Here's our flight. We will go out to the different areas of Ethiopia, visit with the families of children with disabilities, and help them overcome their own difference as well and bring that confidence that I had to develop over the years and help share that with them. The achievement that I am most proud of, I think, is uh, maturing from someone who was angry and, and upset about being differently able to being someone who was different, uh, to now being able to celebrate that and use it as an opportunity to give hope and inspiration to other people. Jessica Cox there with a truly inspirational story.